Here we have a freshly discovered section of articulated plesiosaur vertebrae. As you can see, the fossil was found in many, many pieces, and we have all of these fragments to restore onto this section of spine. There is going to be a lot of preparation work involved, and the whole process is going to take many, many hours, potentially 10, 20, 30, or even more hours. First things first, we need to identify where the bones go, and then we can place them to one side. Our dad has already identified where the majority of these bones will attach, so next up, we need to stabilise the fossil itself. The fossil is preserved in soft shale, and in order for this fossil to stand the test of time, we need to remove some of the shale and stabilise the reverse side of the fossil. So first things first, our dad is using air pneumatic pens to remove this shale. As we prep deeper and deeper, many cracks appear and we stabilise these as we go with our glue. Thankfully we can speed up the process of letting the glue set. There is some more pen work to do on the back of this slab. However, as soon as enough shale is removed and it is flat enough, we're going to be able to move onto the next part of this process. In this video, we're looking at the first step in the preparation journey of this piece. A couple of larger pieces of shale came away there. And that's just because when the fossil has been found, it has had some erosion and it is quite unstable. So we're being as gentle as we can whilst also trying to get the job done. We've got the shale as flat as we need now, so we can progress onto the next part of the preparation process for this piece. Let's take a look at what's next. Now that it's flat enough, we can begin to stabilise the reverse side of the fossil. We mark off a couple of boundaries for where we are about to put our resin so that it doesn't run off and end up on the side of the shale where the fossil itself actually is. Here we have our resin. We have more than enough still in stock for this piece. We also have a couple of other similar fossils to this that we are working on. So we have done this process quite a lot lately. We can now mix these together and then we will be able to begin spreading it across the back of the fossil. It's very satisfying knowing that after this step we can actually begin piecing the bones back together and starting to remove shale from the fossil itself. It's going to be one heck of a piece. We can now apply our mesh, followed by some more resin, and then we will let it harden over many hours. We hope you've enjoyed seeing the first step 
in preparing some articulated plesiosaur bones. We will have some follow up videos coming shortly to show you the entire result and what unfolds in the upcoming preparation of this piece.